Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, and we're going to talk about a couple ways to reverse footage. I've got a shot here that's got a couple different takes of me dropping an orange, and I was hoping it wouldn't roll just like that, and I kind of come in and come out. That's a perfect candidate for reversal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my clip, trim the trim the fat here. There we go. So now we got a clip. And so the easiest way to do reversal is just to right click on the clip and then select reverse. And that'll actually create a subclip. So what a subclip is, is it's where it actually no, looks at this as if it's a different piece of, it's still referenced from this, but it's still uh, like a different piece of media. So you can actually drag this into the timeline with the entire clip reversed. But now this little section should be reversed. Now you're going to see it stutter like that. Reversing footage seems to have a lot of uh, stress on your system. So you can see when I arrow through it, it is in fact reversed because I'm going to be able to... It's not corrected footage by the way, very shadowy, very not colorful. Um, but that, that jump and bounce. So I've rendered it out to a new track using a ProRes codec which is lossless and you can see it's a lot smoother playback playback there. The second way to reverse a clip is just to enable their velocity and to put it into a negative velocity. So velocity is how you can slow something down uh, with a envelope in Vegas Pro. So we're going to go to insert video envelopes and we're going to go to event velocity. Once you have the velocity event enabled, if you've never worked with velocity before, we talk about it in ways to speed up and slow down videos, an older tutorial now, I admit. But um, when you double click it, you can create a keyframe and you can move these keyframes up and down and you'll see a percentage there. And if you right click, you can set it normally. Um, but if you get zero, that stops it, that freezes the video. 20% uh, slow motion, uh, over 100% is fast motion, but what we're interested in is negative motion. Um, so if you set to 100%, it reverses the velocity. The problem is... When you do that, it's difficult for the human brain to kind of understand what's going on because you're reversing the velocity less and less until eventually you get to zero. And it's hard to understand that uh, what you're actually doing to the clip itself because... You can see I went forward and then backwards because I'm, I'm changing how much I reverse velocity. So if I bring the whole thing down and reverse the velocity for the entire clip, <laughs> there's a different take. Uh, you'll have to kind of mess around and reselect what take you need while you're reversing velocity. So I don't recommend this method unless you're trying to... Um, really kind of play with time like in a music video style see there we go we got the same effect there and so what I could do see it gets all wonky real fast but if I kind of create that keyframe bump what should happen yeah see there's like a a, a, a stutter where I have it do it twice now. And so that's that's certainly an option. It's just going to be more difficult to kind of fathom what you're doing because uh, the human brain doesn't think in reversing and non-reversing, um, you know, percentages. So uh, there you go. That's two ways to reverse footage in Vegas Pro 18. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video, help you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I will see you guys next time.